Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss a few multiple choice questions in pharyngeal apparatus. Question number one The epithelial lining of the palatine tonsil crypts are derived from the first pharyngeal arch, first pharyngeal cleft, also called first pharyngeal group, second pharyngeal arch second pharyngeal pouch third pharyngeal pouch what is the answer answer should be d second pharyngeal pouch and these epithelials are endodermal because they are coming from the pouch number two the most common site of a pharyngeal fistula is the what is the, what is the most common site of pharyngeal fistula also called branchial fistula back of the neck anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle under the angle of the mandible c floor of the mouth cavity d behind the manubrium sterni what is the most common site of pharyngeal fistula okay one part is inside the pharynx maybe inside inside the larynx where is the another opening another opening is the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid under the angle of the mandible so answer is b question number 3 the cranial neural crest cells differentiate into the following adult cell structure except what what is the exception pharyngeal arch skeleton and connective tissue components coming from the neural crest cells cranial neural crest cells bones of neurocranium that forms the skull a significant part of the skull is formed by neurocranium see pia mater and arachnoid mater these are meninges the parafollicular cell also called c cells of the thyroid e muscles of facial expression so all of them are coming from the or from the cranial neural crystal except one the exception is what the muscles of facial expression okay we got that then number four the third pharyngeal number four the third pharyngeal arch is associated with which nerve mandibular nerve facial nerve glossopharyngeal nerve superolaryngeal nerve maxillary nerve answer should be glossopharyngeal nerve okay mandibular nerve for first arch facial nerve for the second arch glossopharyngeal for the third arch superlingual nerve for the for the fourth arch maxillary nerve also for the first arch question number five the sixth pharyngeal arch is associated with what nerve facial nerve superior laryngeal nerve mandibular nerve glossopharyngeal nerve recurrent laryngeal nerve answer should be what recurrent laryngeal nerve okay and this nerve innervates all the intrinsic muscles of the larynx except the cricothyroid Question number six, the stylopharyngeus muscle is a derivative of which of the following arch? Okay, first arch, second pharyngeal arch, third pharyngeal arch, fourth pharyngeal arch, ultimo bronchial body, that is technically the fifth pharyngeal arch, which is incorporated into the fourth arch and the fourth pouch. Okay, we got that so ultimate bronchial body 
So here, what is the answer? Style of Fringe's mass is the derivative of what? Third pharyngeal arch. C. Okay. We got C. Question number seven. Which of the following is not a derivative of fourth pharyngeal arch? Cricothyroid, cricopharyngeus, laryngeal cartilage, right subclavian artery, stylopharyngeus. Which of the following is not a derivative of fourth pharyngeal arch? Answer should be stylopharyngeus. This muscle is the only muscle which is developed from the third pharyngeal arch. Question number eight. Okay. Okay. So we got that. Question number seven. Which the following is not a derivative of fourth pharyngeal arch, and such should be stellar pharyngeus because that is a derivative, that is a derivative of the third pharyngeal arch. Cater coronal and lower part of the body of the higher bone is derived from the which arch? First arch, second arch, third arch, fourth pharyngeal arch, sixth pharyngeal arch. What is the answer? Third pharyngeal arch, greater horn and lower part of the body. Question number nine. The second arch cartilage ossifies to form all of the following structures except what is the exception? Stapes, one of the ossicle, stylar process, lesser horn of the hyoid bone, superior part of the body of the hyoid bone. Okay. Incus. What is the answer? Answer should be incus. Incus, malleus, incus. These are coming from the from the first arch. Okay, all of these stapes, stylohyoid process, lesser horn of the hyoid bone, superior part of the body of the hyoid bone, all are coming from the second arch, except incus. That is a derivative of the first arch. Question number 10, all of the following muscles are derivatives of second pharyngeal arch except one. The exception is what? Stylohyoid, anterior digastic, stapedius, platysma, orbicularis oculi. So which is the exception? Which is not coming from the second pharyngeal arch? Answer should be anterior belly of the digastic that is coming from the first pharyngeal arch. But posterior belly of digastic certainly is a derivative of the second pharyngeal arch. Question number 11. The stylohyoid ligament is a derivative of which arch? Arch means pharyngeal arch or branchial arch. First, second, third, fourth, sixth. Stylohyoid ligament. Presents stylohyoid ligament from the second arch B. Okay. Question number 12. The cricothyroid muscles and the constrictor of the pharynx are innervated by which nerve? Superlingual nerve, fascia nerve, maxillary nerve, mandibular nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve. Cricothyroid is innervated by the superior laryngeal branch of the vagus nerve. Okay. So answer should be A. Okay, we got the A. 12A, answer A. Question number 13. The large upper part of the thyroid cartilage is derived from the what arch? Large upper part of the thyroid cartilage is derived from the 
which arts first arts second arts third arts fourth arts sixth arts okay large upper part of the third cartilage is derived from the from the what from the fourth arch large upper part of the thyroid cartilage coming from the fourth arch so d is the answer okay question number 14 external acoustic meatus develops from where first pharyngeal pouch first pharyngeal groove also called cleft second pharyngeal pouch third pharyngeal pouch cervical sinus cervical sinus disappear very soon okay external acoustic meatus develops from the first pharyngeal group answer is b 14 b question number 15 an eight month old girl is diagnosed with dijor syndrome she has thymic aplasia and hypoparathyroidism the thymus develops from where first pharyngeal pouch second pharyngeal pouch second okay first pharyngeal group second pharyngeal pouch cervical sinus third pharyngeal pouch presents from where we'll get thymus it should be third pharyngeal pouch is the answer okay question number 16 pharyngo tympanic tube also called auditory tube also called eustachian tube is a derivative of which pouch first second third fourth fifth answer should be what first pharyngeal or branchial pouch okay answer is a okay we got that and that's all about the multiple choice questions in pharyngeal apparatus or brinkle apparatus we covered the possible question from the arches from the pouches from the groove or cleft and certainly d jaw syndrome why that happened these are the answer keys okay and that's all for today if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now